What's up everybody? Eagle here. Merry Christmas and it's good to be back on the channel. It's been quite a while but today I am going to be introducing my brand new creator series disc. It's also my signature series disc. It's also my dream putter, the Rainmaker. What is this disc? Well, it is a putter and if you see you're probably thinking, wow, that looks a lot like a P2. Well, as you know, I putt with the P2, or I putted with the P2 pretty much since I started with Disc Mania. But over the course of the years, I have found certain runs of P2 that I have liked more than others. Those runs in particular have been the KP2 and also the Imperial Eagle P2. And I felt like those runs were a little bit different than a lot of the other P2s that were produced. So, I talked to Tomas Ekstrom, the man who has helped design the Tilt, my Razor Claw, and so many other discs. And what I talked to him about was what I wanted in a putter. How this is different than, let's say, a normal P2 is it's a little bit more shallow in the hand, as well as it's a little bit more beveled on its rim, making it a little bit quicker release out of the hand, a little bit straighter, and a more comfortable feel for people who have smaller hands or prefer a lower profile type of putter. I want you guys to know exactly what I wanted, so I actually took a recording of Tomas's and I's Skype call when we discussed what I wanted in my dream putter. Let's go check that out. So what can I do for you? This is exciting. A dream disc, dream putter. I like to putt, as as you may know. You know, I want I want a disc that I can I can grab, um, you know, fresh off the press and I can feel confident with. I have a drawing here. Mm -hmm. This is kind of a P2. Mm -hmm. so we're talking about it should be more beveled outside here on the notes and, uh, and people don't realize how you know small changes can make a huge difference as mm -hmm. well yeah but i i am taking notes here so uh, uh you want it to be slightly slightly lower rim uh if not super straight or whatever if not you know completely straight mm -hmm. i think it's it's already straight i mean the, the p2 I, I have to check that, but but I can make it, you know, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit on the on the other way, mm -hmm. and hopefully you will like that. Straight with a little bit of fade, you know. All, when I'm, I want it to be also a part of that, you know. When you step up to a putt with some headwind, you know, it's you feel like it's the disc you want to use. UC told me to be very, very picky. He's like, tell him exactly what you want. And I think I did. Like, I don't know what else I can really say about a, a putter. Yeah, I think I'm, you know, uh, for me, it was kind of easy. Uh, stiffer plastic, slightly lower profile. Yeah, I'm pretty confident right now. I was kind of nervous before, uh, before we talked, uh, what he wanted. Because he didn't come up with some really, really strange idea. <laughs> <laughs> to be, you know almost like the tilt or a tilt, you know, a part of the flight like a tilt, that seems pretty much impossible. <laughs> I mean, that, basically that's what I've been trying to get with the razor claw almost. I think we're done. Uh, we okay. covered a lot of ground and this is, it's going to be a good disc. I know it. Looking forward to getting the sample and having a stack of putters I can rely on because right now I only have about like three or four that, you know, are, that are backups. Perfect. All right. Right. Thanks, Tomas. This is going to be sweet. It's going to be sweet, yeah, for sure. All right. All right, cool. Enjoy right. enjoy your meal. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, boy. It's going to be exciting. So there, guys. That's the Rainmaker. Super excited about it. I've been putting when I can, and I honestly think this is an incredible putter. And while it's very close to the P2, I think... For a lot of people who are having issues with the standard run being a little bit too overstable, this is going to be the disc to try out. It's going to be very comfortable in virtually any player's hand, so I think you guys are really going to like it. So let me put these right here and tell you that they will be available 
on the Discmania store, so Discmania store US and Europe, in, drum roll please, the Black Edition Mystery Box. This box has contained the Cloud Breaker, the Tactic, the Tilt, and now the Rainmaker. And just as a little thank you to you guys, we're not including just one. We're including two different Rainmakers. One in the Flex 2, which is going to be a little bit softer style plastic, but not, not super gummy, but you know, if you like a kind of a grippy feel on your putter. And then we have a stiffer Flex 3. You guys can choose which one you like better. So that's really cool. And uh, I think personally, I'm going, I might bag both actually. I'm, I'm digging the Flex 3 for putting a little bit more, uh, but the Flex 2 has actually been a really great thrower, uh, dead straight and with that lower profile, um, it's not super low profile, but a little bit more shallow compared to the new P2 that Dismania has released. It releases very easy out of the hand, and I've absolutely been loving it. So, the Black Edition Mystery Box is where you're gonna be able to find these Rainmakers. I'm gonna post the info down below to know exactly when they go live. I think it's nine, but don't quote me on that. So, yes. All right, guys, well, that's it. Oh, before I sign off, I wanna shout out my buddy, Clay Smith for making this incredible artwork. This is going to be my backdrop for whenever I shoot videos. I think it's absolutely awesome, so thank you very much. I hope all you guys have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, or whatever holiday you celebrate. So, until next time guys, keep on dreaming, and peace. Mania Golf Discs. Let us walk.